So here we have a Pac-Man clone. Uh, so you can move Pac-Man with the arrow keys. And so we'll just go try and win this uh, by collecting all of the currency. So when we pick those up, the power-ups, it turns all the ghosts to the flashing blue. As you can see now, there's a cherry that's appeared in the middle. So I'll go and get the cherry now. Here are come all the ghosts for me. And I'm about to lose, and I'm surrounded. And so, I can just continue off from the beginning again, and try to play through, and as you get closer and closer to being able to win, obviously you'll have less of the power-ups remaining, and have to rely more on being able to uh, outdo the ghosts. The ghosts do follow the standard AI for Pac-Man, so there are tricks you can use to evade them if you set yourself up correctly. So we're doing much better this time, but uh, there's a good chance we won't be able to get it given the number of uh, things we still need to collect. Still a cherry in the middle, but it's not so good a chance there. So here we're surrounded, and it is game over. So we came very close to completing the maximum score. Um, when you do finish the game, it just comes up saying game's won. Um, but essentially, the only other thing that wasn't really demonstrated in this example is that you can go off to the sides here, and it will teleport you. The ghosts can't follow you through there, so it is a way you can escape the ghosts if you need to. Um, and so that allows you to make a quick getaway. We can also eat the ghosts for modus points, so it is a way to get more score if you're able to maximize the number of ghosts you eat when you've got a power-up. So we'll just lose one more time here, and that's it.